Yo, what's up guys, Demented Monkey here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Battlefield 1 video. So, basically, Battlefield 1 has been out for quite a while now, and I've been playing it pretty much back to back since it has actually come out. I mean, I had it, like, early, considering I had the uh, Digital Deluxe Edition, so I've been playing it shit tons and I've been playing the support class like as my main role because I love playing the support class in any battlefield I like to support my team by suppressing fire and giving them ammo and things like that but in battlefield 1 there is a weapon that just stands out uh, over all of the other sort of LMGs it's not your typical LMG to be honest I find it more of an assault rifle rather than an LMG but I kind of it kind of fits in with the LMGs as well uh, basically this weapon and you might have seen it around uh, because it's basically becoming sort of the god gun of Battlefield 1 at the moment it's the BAR 1918 Storm or just any variant of the BAR but personally I like this Storm the best now the BAR 1918 Storm is an amazing maze amazing weapon it is absolutely outstanding uh, you will sort of find yourself in situations where it just can't handle itself, but if you learn the, the weapon and you learn how to use it, you will actually dominate the battlefield. I know it took me a little while to learn how to use the weapon and sort of what engagement distances I should be going for, and yeah, basically I've just sort of taught myself how to use the weapon and what sort of best circumstances I can find myself in when using this weapon. So basically I'm going to be telling you the different stats and why I think this weapon is just uh, almost the Battlefield 1 god gun, okay? So let's get straight into giving you guys the stats on the BAR 1918 Storm. Its damage points are 21 to 19 so basically it's first sort of damage uh, damage hit thing uh, so each bullet would do a damage of 21 and then as you get to about 20 25 meters it would drop off to 19 so that's not as bad as some other weapons its drop off isn't as bad but it is kind of close together so I'm kind of unsure about that but it all makes up for it later on where it lacks in damage now its bullet drop off points are 20, uh, 20 so again uh, the damage points it will go for 21 and then when it hits about uh, from 20 meters onward and then when it hits about 25 meters it will drop down to 19. Yeah, it's got a fire rate of 600 so it's got an RPM of 600 uh, that's obviously in fully auto you can put it in single shot as well. Uh, its muzzle velocity is 820 ms and its bullet drop is 12 ms squared. It has a mag size of 20 and its deploy time is 1.1 seconds. Now the uh, deploy time if you don't know is in Battlefield 1 when you're bringing out your weapon it has a certain amount of time to sort of set up your weapon. Now in uh, Battlefield 1 with most of the LMGs as they are uh, extremely heavier than the BAR 19, uh, 1918 it uh, will have a longer sort of deploy time but you know obviously the BAR 1918 is kind of a lighter LMG so it doesn't really take that much time to just lift up uh, off your back or whatever uh, your soldier does with it you know keystre or whatever <laughs> um, so yeah that's basically most of the stats you really need to know they'll be on the screen now so if you just want to look it over uh, just yeah I'll leave a link to synthec.com as well in the description because that's basically where I find all my information on about Battlefield and Battlefield's weapon stats right so the BAR 1918 uh, is probably the one of the best guns to use in Battlefield 1 as you can see in the gameplay in the background uh, you know I can get some decent kills with it and uh, but it's yeah, I can get some de decent kills, and I can get some sort of decent sort of uh, situations where I can easily get the kills without them even realizing I'm there. But sometimes uh, it sort of lacks in the department of that you're not really going to get two kills with uh, one magazine. It will take about one magazine just for one person, which is kind of a downside, but its reload speed isn't that bad. It's got a... Um, 
a reload speed of 3.2 seconds for an empty magazine and 2.9 seconds for at least one round left. So it's a decent reload speed for an LMG, uh, which I pretty much think of it more as an assault rifle, but still, it, uh, it functions kind of like a, an assault rifle from Battlefield 4, so I'm kind of used to it because I like to play assault kind of in Battlefield 4, so I don't know, I, I, it fits very well with somebody who liked to play assault in Battlefield 4 or is kind of setting up and has played a Battlefield game before with assault rifles in. Uh, and it's it's kind of a good weapon to set up. Unfortunately, you do unlock it at a longer or at a, a later on stage in the support class. So you do have to kind of work towards it. But to be honest, once you've got it, it's worth it for a hundred percent. I mean, I actually, I absolutely love this gun. It's just an amazing weapon and basically becomes a god gun in some like sort of circumstances. Uh, I've played, and, I, and you'll see this in the background gameplay, uh, I've played with it for quite a bit and I've learned and I've taught myself what's, you know, sort of, and the best sort of things to do with this weapon, sort of where to go and how far away I should be from my target before actually pulling the trigger. So, you know, you kind of have to learn the, uh, the weapon, but you have to do that with pretty much any weapon anyway. Uh, it's... Uh, it does lack in the fact that you do have to pretty much reload after one kill. You Sometimes you can squeeze on about two kills and sometimes you can get a, like a cheeky three kills. Maybe if you're really accurate and don't miss any bullets and like maybe one of the targets is a little bit damaged before you even uh, shoot them. So uh, yeah, it, I mean you can squeeze pretty much about two from one magazine, two kills from one magazine. Uh, as you can see in some uh, sort of clips in this gameplay in the background, I have gone two kills with the BAR and then switched to my secondary and got a third kill. Now switching to your secondary is obviously going to be much faster than reloading, unless you've got a heavier pistol, because apparently uh, now with the uh, sort of deploy times some pistols can be heavier and will take a longer deploy time so you really have to go on synthic.com to see uh, if your pistol has a longer deploy time than your reload speed and then check it out that way so you know that's just a little tip as well kind of from me or what i've been doing to sort of try and improve my battlefield skills in battlefield 1 because obviously Battlefield 1 is a completely different game to Battlefield 4 or any other Battlefields. It's completely new and the play styles you have to kind of adapt to are much more complicated and much more sort of you need to work as a team to complete your objective. So if your team isn't working uh, well as a team, then you might as well just leave the game. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't really leave that, many, uh, that uh, too many games because, you know, uh, I'm a bit uh, hypocritical about that, but <laughs> yeah, uh, that's basically going to be it for today, guys. If you want more information on the BAR, go check out synthet.com. They'll put, they'll be in uh, the description below, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe. I've been Demented Muggy, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.